This is a NAES Interlibrary Loan System training video on renewals, how to place them and how to respond to them. The new Interlibrary Loan System allows you to request a renewal of an item that you have borrowed directly from the system, and it will then track the renewal with the new due date and everything so that you don't have to have a separate trans tracking mechanism for renewals. It's all contained within the system. To start off with, I'm going to demonstrate how to request a renewal for an item that you have borrowed. For that part of the demonstration, we're going to work as the Lilac Public Library. Here we are at the home page of the Lilac Public Library, and I am going to go to my Request Manager and see what I find here. And looking at the Request Manager, I am the borrower, because you wouldn't be renewing a thing that you hadn't borrowed. So the things that I have borrowed are most likely in a received status. They could be in some other statuses, including they could be in a in an accepted renewal status if I had already asked for one renewal and I'm asking for another one. Um, but the most likely scenario is that they're going to be in your received status. So I'm going to click on received so I can see what my transaction is. And here I have the borrow the item that I have borrowed from my patron, Mr. York, um, a book about Paris, and he would like to renew it. It is currently due on the 17th of January, but he needs it a little bit longer. So I'm going to go into the transaction, and I am going to change its status from received to renewal, and then I'm going to scroll down here to the borrower's notes, and I have a note here from before, but I'm going to add on to the top of that note and say we would like to renew this until February 5th, 2020. Please. Okay. So I have explained to the, the lender what it is I'm looking for, how long I want to renew the book for, and then I have um, changed the status to renewal. And then all I need to do to send this request to the lending library is to click the Submit button. My request is being processed and it has been successfully updated. So that is how you ask a library to extend the due date on an item that you have borrowed. Now once someone has asked you to renew something, you need to respond and tell them whether or not you will. And this is something that you will do as the lender. To demonstrate the response to renewal requests, we're going to look at the Newt School Library's um, request manager and see what is pending there. Okay, so as a uh, as a lender, the Newt School Library has two renewals pending. So when they come in to look at their transactions under Manage Lenders, they see they have two renews pending. So we click on those to see the details of what it is that's being asked here. Okay, and you'll note there's a little push pin on both of them. That's because there is a note, which there should be for renewal, because the library should explain what it is that they're wanting. So I'm going to take a look at this one, the watermelon, missing watermelon money, and see what the situation is here. Okay, so this library is asking to renew this item for an additional couple of weeks until February 1st. All right, I can do that. Um, if I just change the status to accept renewal, then the due date will be calculated automatically. In the system, the default due date for a renewal is 42 calendar days from the day the lender accepts the renewal request. So not from when the request is placed, but from when it is accepted. So coming back here to look at the Newt School Library's transaction, if I just accept it, the renewal and don't make any adjustment to the due date, it will be 42 days from today. I am doing this work on the 6th of um, December, so it will be 42 days from now. But I can, in fact, 
put an explicit due date. And since this library has asked for an explicit due date of February 1st, I might as well go ahead and do that. There's no reason to have the materials out longer than is called for. So they would like it until February 1st, which is a Saturday. We're not open on Saturday anyway. So I'm going to go with February 3rd as my due date on this item. And if I wish to do so, I could put a note. Um, I don't really think one is called for. I'm lent, giving them the renewal they've asked for to the date they have asked for. So I am going to submit that transaction. And this item is now due on the 3rd of February. Um, so the renewal has been accepted. So let's go back then to our request manager and see where we are. We still have one more renewal pending. I'm going to take a look at that one. This is Resurrection Day. And I look at the actual transaction so I can see what it is exactly that has been asked of me. The patron would like to keep this until January 30th. Well, Brendan Dubois novels are pretty popular in my library, so I don't think I'm going to let them renew this. I think I need this back. So I'm going to change the status of this one to Reject Renewal. And then I'm going to put a note that says, sorry, this is a popular item and we need it returned on the original due date. And then I'm going to click Submit. And that will process. And now my re this renewal request has been rejected. So when you're the borrower and you have placed requests for renewals, the next thing we want to cover is how you will see what the answer was. Was it accepted or was it rejected? For this part of the demonstration, we are looking at the request manager of the Birch Public Library. And we can see that they have um, a good amount of renewal activity here at the Birch Public Library. They have four accepted renewals and one rejected renewal um, showing up on the borrower side of their transactions. So let's start by looking at the rejected renewal. And here we have squirting squids was rejected. And there was no note. They just said no. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's not true. There is a note here. The lender says that the current due date is January 8th, which is later than the requested renewal date of December 12th. So they've said no, but essentially I still get to keep my thing. So um, that's where you will find out what has happened with a rejected renewal. Had the lending library actually said yes to this request renewal, it would they could have said yes and reset the date to December 12th, even though it's currently due later. Or they could have just said yes, and that default of 42 days would have kicked in, and it would have been due even further into the future. So what this library chose to do is to say no, but in effect, I'm still getting what I wanted as the borrower. So then let's go back and take a look at the others. So I'm going to use the go back button. And I want to go back to my request manager and see I have here also some accepted renewals. So I'm going to click Accepted Renewals and see what I have here. So my accepted renewals, I now have due dates um, coming up in the future, and I can sort them so I can see my next most recent. The one coming up the soonest is going to be December 27th, and then the others go into next year. So I can see the actual um, request, like any other request, by clicking on the title. And I will be able to see any details that have been provided to me. Um, this library didn't really provide. It just said yes to my renewal. It's now 42 days in the future. So the new due date of it is January 20th. So I'll need to notify my patron through whatever method the Birch Public Library uses to do that, that their renewal has been accepted. Probably we'll just check it out to them with the later renewal date in our local circulation system. So that is how you will see and manage renewal requests in the interlibrary loan system. The only other thing I want to cover related to this has to do with lending policies. The default in the system is to have 42 days added on to the renewal, because 42 days is the standard um, 
term of loan in the interlibrary loan system. You can obviously change that on any specific transaction, but that is the default. If your library has chosen to set its own lending policy, which you can do from the training page of the NAES website, there is a form called Setting ILL Lending Policies. For any specific format of item, and these are the formats you can choose from, you can set a policy that will override the default. The default is that you lend everything. So if there are things you won't lend at all, you can change those. You also can change the default of the loan period for any particular format of material. So perhaps your DVDs you'll only lend for three weeks instead of the full 42 days. You would set that on this paper form. You would have your um, library director sign the form and send it back to NAE services in paper and we will update your interlibrary loan profile so that these policies apply. If you do that, then the default for the renewals will no longer be 42 days, it will be whatever is dictated by this document. So there you have an overview of renewal requests in the NAE's interlibrary loan system. If you have questions about this, please contact the help desk at 271-2141 or send us an email at the address on your screen. Thank you for watching.